What's up Landshark Nation? So in today's video I'm going to be going over rod and reel combos you guys can use for snook fishing off the pier. We get asked a lot of questions about this and I think it's time to make a video. So let's jump right into it. First thing you need to know, for snook fishing off the piers you're going to want to fish an 8 to 9 foot rod and the reason for this is the longer your rod the further the line is going to be away from the piling. So when you're fighting a fish up and down like right on the rail if you're fishing a six foot rod, that line is going to be a lot closer to the piling and you're going to end up breaking off a lot easier than if you were to have a longer rod. A second thing, the eight, eight to nine foot rod, blah, rod allows you to cast it out further. With a six foot rod, seven foot rod, you can't get the same casting distance as you can with a longer rod. Second thing you're going to want to look for in a rod is a fiberglass blank. You want to fish a fiberglass rod because they're going to be a lot more durable, they're going to be a lot more impact resistant, they are a bit heavier, but they are also cheaper, and um, the, th the problem with the graphite rods is you do have a lot more sensitivity and they are a lot lighter, but the problem is they're a lot more sensitive. If you end up high sticking a fish with a graphite rod or you're banging it around the pier, the chances of it breaking are a lot higher than with a fiberglass rod. Um, so right now I'm going to give you a bunch of rod and reels you guys can choose from choose from and all the links are going to be included in the description bo box below okay so as far as conventional rods are concerned i'd say if you're a beginner and you're just getting into the whole pier thing you can't go wrong with an eight foot star deluxe it's retails for 130 dollars it's a 40 to 50 pound blank it's the first rod i ever fished all, all my friends i know everyone who's ever started on a pier they know what a star rod is and that's just what you start with now for spinning rods, I actually have one right here, and this is going to be a Shimano Terramar. You can get this for $110, looks just like this. This is a fiberglass blank, it's got cork grip, and um, it's a good rod. It's, you know, it's not nothing fancy, um, it is a bit heavy, it's a fiberglass blank, but like I told you, you're going to need those fiberglass blanks on the pier because you're going to be abusing your rod and it's not a very good environment for a graphite blank. Now, so that was a Terramar. Crowder also makes a spinning spinning rod. They make it an 8 to 9 foot and the 8 foot one is 170 and the 9 foot one is $200. Now, so you got your reels, or you got your rods. I gave you two rod options for spinning and conventional. Now I'm going to talk about reels. So, um, you want a 4 sized reel, and keep in mind that this is all personal preference. Preference. I'm just giving you guys some options. So, a 4 sized reel, so a pen 4 senator, that's going to retail for around $109. Um, that's like your base model, what you're going to be starting off on the pier with. It, you know, it's really not fancy, it's got like two bearings, it's not very fast. But if you've got a little bit more money to spend, I recommend getting an Avid HX. It's going to be $290. You got more drag. It's a lot smoother. It's a higher gear ratio reel, and it just looks more badass. Um, so those are two conventional reels. Now, two spinning reels that I recommend. One of them I fish personally. The other one I have not fished, which is the Finor. The Finor is an economy, you know, class reel. I recommend the, six, the 6500 Finnor Offshore Series. It retails for $150. I do know one thing. I know people who fish these reels and they are workhorses. You can abuse them. I know Captain Jeff Maggio, if you're watching. I know he fishes them. He recommends them. And that guy has been fishing for years and he wouldn't recommend a product that's not very good. So you have the Finnor Offshore and then the second reel I recommend is one that I have. It is more pricey. It's $300, but... Um, for spinning reels, you're, at, at, you're gonna have to find that pretty often is you're gonna end up paying more for spinning reels. So this is a Saragossa SW10,000. Um, I like it, I got no complaints. It's really smooth, it puts out a lot of drag. It's not too heavy and I've dumped it a couple times in the water. It reels just fine as long as you rinse it off with fresh water. And it's a good little reel. So, 
I gave you the recommendations. If you find a custom rod or you happen to be looking for a custom rod, you're gonna want, for a conventional rod, you're gonna wanna look for a fiberglass blank in the 50 pound to 80, cl 80 pound class range. If you're looking for a spinning rod and you're trying to get a custom, I would look for, once again, the eight to nine foot and I would do a 20 to 50 pound or 30 to 60 pound blank, all right? So keep in mind that was all personal preference. I just wanted to give you guys some combos because we get asked a lot of questions. But uh, hope you liked the video. Comment below. Let me know what your combo is. Tell us what you fish. I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video.